This is Rebel Rabbi. Today we will discuss why in the world do people get married and more importantly, why in the world do Jewish people get married? Throughout the years, there has been so many different reasons why people have gotten married. Most recently, people marry for love. In the olden days, people would get married for tradition, to build a beautiful family based on the values that their parents instilled in them. Years before that, people would get married for peace reasons. Different empires would marry into each other to create peace and stability in their regions. Other times, people would get married for business, and they would say, if you offer a certain amount of money, your child can marry my child. In the Bible, the Torah, the first time that we see the concept of marriage is by Joseph. Joseph was the beloved golden son of Jacob, the third of the patriarchs. Joseph was sold by his brothers and became the first Jewish prince in Egypt. And because of him, all of the Jewish people ended up in Egypt for 210 years in slavery. By Joseph, we have recorded in the Bible the concept of marriage, of him making a document and actually officially marrying his wife. Prior to that in the Bible, people would just go, they would approach a woman, ask her if she would like to be his significant other and he would provide for her and they would build a family. By the giving of the Torah on Mount Sinai, God officially gave the commandments to the Jewish people and there we have the commandments and all of the mitzvahs regarding Jewish marriage and Jewish divorce. The question is, why do we need a whole official marriage to take place? Why can't two people just decide to live together and have a beautiful life? The rabbis teach us that every single person has a half of a soul. And that soul becomes complete when it finds its other half. When it finds the person that's supposed to go through life together with them. When those two halves come together and form a union, not only is it two people living together, it's something brand new which is created. And that is a dwelling place for godliness. In Hebrew, the word for man is ish, with the Hebrew letters aleph yud shin. The Hebrew word for woman is isha, with the Hebrew letters aleph shin hey. Both of the words have the two letters aleph shin, which spells Aish, which is fire. The difference between the two words is in the Hebrew letters Yud and He. If you put that together, that spells God's name. So we have the fire of God, which rests when the man and the woman come together. Now, why do we need an official ceremony and official commandments and mitzvahs on how we get married? So we see by the concept of Shabbat, the seventh day, when God finished the creation of the world, He rested. And He told us, just like I rested, I want you to rest. So on the seventh day, on the Sabbath, we rest. But in addition to resting, we have special mitzvahs, how to honor and respect the Shabbat. We make sanctification blessings over a cup of wine or grape juice. We have the traditional Shabbat dinners, as well as special prayers. Same thing goes for the Jewish holidays. We commemorate and remember all of the different significant things that happen on each of the Jewish holidays. The same thing is for Jewish marriage. We commemorate and we celebrate this special union between the husband and wife, which brings down the fire of God to dwell in this household. The way we celebrate and commemorate that is through the special mitzvahs of a Jewish marriage. That's how we bring this significance of this special holy union which is taking place into our practical lives. We have a physical document. We have the actual transaction of the rings. All of these different rituals bring down this concept into our physical lives. That's the reason why we have all of the Jewish mitzvahs for getting married. I hope this video was useful for anyone who is interested in the concept of marriage or is interested in rethinking their own marriage. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.
because soon we're coming out with a whole new video on why Jewish people get divorced. So stay tuned.